Do you remember the days when you had to pick between performance and looks? Well, no more. NZXT's bought out their new Kraken water coolers and, well, they perform really well and they don't half look bad either. So we have the 360mm Elite version with RGB fans. There are non-Elite versions available as well as well as versions with and without RGB in both black and white. Size versions are 240mm, 280 and 360mm. The main highlight of the Elite version is its larger and superior LCD screen that can display stats from the NZXT cam software along with static or animated graphics. The non-elite version on the other hand supports a smaller screen that can show static images and system temps from the cam software. Onto the packaging, the box carries a minimalist design we've come to expect from NZXT. Adorned with a traditional NZXT purple and white, it includes a clear picture of the product along with basic information. The back side of the box gives you more detailed view of the water cooler installed in the PC case accompanied by multilingual text. Inside the box you'll find everything you'd expect. Every item except the manual is wrapped in one use plastic. How dare you! We've got the fittings for different motherboard sockets, cables for powering and connecting the fans and pumps, an RGB controller that connects to the PC via a USB 2.0 header, and the all-in-one water cooler with pre-applied thermal paste. Oh, and let's not forget the 320mm fans. Installation is fairly straightforward. First, put the back plate on the motherboard, then insert the four posts, add the CPU block and screw it in. Each fan has two cables, one for the fan power and another for the RGB. The fan cables plug into the splitter and the RGB cable plugs into the included controller. Just a heads up, make sure you have a spare USB header on your motherboard. Like most water coolers, you normally connect up to ARGB headers and fan connections. This connects up to your USB 2 header. The USB cable also has a rainbow effect connection on the end, which you will see sticking out on your motherboard if you have, obviously, a window on the side, which I'm presuming you will if you're going for an RGB version. You'll need to install the NZXT cam software to control the RGB and fan speeds. On first boot, the NZXT logo will display on the screen, which will then transition into the CPU temperature monitor. In the cam software, you can customize the fan colors and effects per fan or as a whole. You can also use the screen to display an animated GIF or GIF, depending on what you want to call it, pictures or information like CPU temps, GPU temps and more. The screen image quality is impressive and you can also adjust brightness to your liking. Now for the ultimate test. We are testing this cooler in the new NZXT H9 Flow case on an Intel i9-13900K in a 30 minute stress test with all cores running at 100%. We got an average temperature of 82 degrees Celsius and a max of 91 degrees Celsius. While gaming, we also saw an average temperature of 64 degrees Celsius when playing CPU intensive games like Cyberpunk. Do note that room temperature was maintained at 21.5 degrees C and we set the fans and pump speed at 100%. It seems a Kraken has proved itself capable of cooling any mainstream CPU on the market, obviously depending on the size variation you get. However, one thing we noticed is the slight RGB bleed between the fans and the radiator, which could affect cooling performance slightly. To sum up, this cooler not only looks good but performs exceptionally well. The days when we had to choose between aesthetics and performance are long gone. NZXT has created a product that excels in both areas. Now let's talk about noise levels and this is something which is always hard to test because it depends on the configuration of your PC, what CPU you're using because obviously temp to be different and so forth. But in our experience, a good cooler should not only perform well but also run quietly. I'm happy to report that the NZXT Elite model excels in this department too. Under silent operation mode, the cooler was practically inaudible. Obviously, if you crank up the fans to 100%, they're going to get louder. However, if we keep it on a quiet mode, we found that even our 13900K, the fans rarely needed to go above 70% speed. 
Despite these minor points, the NZXT Elite model still stands out as a robust and stylish choice for your CPU cooler. It keeps the CPU temperatures well within safe limits, even under heavy loads, and the customization options are sure to please the RGB enthusiast out there. I hope you enjoyed this video and know I did. Why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here, or this one just down here. Otherwise, you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think, and we'll see you next time.